Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Dooie. In the last part, we went into Jolly Roger's Lagoon, and we collected some doubloons to buy a jiggy. And then now we're looking for more. We also oxygenated the water with a uh, mumbo. That will come in helpful in a minute. But let's talk to a pig. Please fix the pool. Pickles pushed me in the other week, and look what's happened to my arm. Um, well, you don't say anything. I didn't want to say anything. Uh, thanks. I'm a little touchy about it, as uh, you might expect. Freak out! LOL. Help us sort out the pool, Mr. Bear. What's wrong with it? Looks fine to me. We want to go swimming, but the water's polluted and icy cold. Mmm, this one may take some time. Don't know what voice that was for Banjo. I just kind of threw a voice out there, and it wasn't Banjo at all, but who cares? Alright, so, uh, I guess we can go ahead and do whatever was up here. Oh, if we can make it, and make the jump. Make the jump! Shwam! Alright, so, careful. Oh! We have these douchebags on the wall, so I'm assuming there's one on the top. Nope. They give you a little reprieve from all the usual douchebaggery. Oh, but there's another one there. Nope, you die. And we edge over here to this pipe, and bang. We has another healthy honeycomb beast. There's a sign up there, but it doesn't really mean anything. Oh yeah, hop into here. The basement. Oh, shoot. Dang it. That sucked. So, uh, yeah, that's the only way to get up there, so let's go ahead and go back up there. I just went the wrong way that I was thinking I was gonna go, supposed to go. Happens sometimes. I wish they would let you jump while in Banjo Kazooie form. Ah, oh, damn it! These douchebags are gonna be back again too. I almost thought that maybe it wasn't gonna be there, but then it was. <laughs> that would have really sucked. Get knocked down again after getting back up all the way. Hello, Mr. Douchebag. Come out to play and die. This time I'm gonna fall onto the... this and see what it says, because I forgot. I never usually check signs. Skull. Beach. Beach. Skull. What? Skull. Beach. Beach. Skull. I think it's supposed to give a hint about the turtle being the mumbo skull. Yeah. Alright, so we head into here. Womp! So, it's funny, they make you in here and you hear the call of the Jinjo. And then uh, you run over here and you see a Jinjo. But it's not. <laughs> so, yeah, they just. That was a complete trick on their part. Just be like, oh, let's put one in here. It's a far away place that nobody would expect one to be. And it's definitely not a Jinjo. Hey, look, there's a Jinjo there, too. Jinjo! Or not Jinjo, uh, Buck. Jiggy. So, bam. We hit that switch and we stop the toxic waste disposal. We're magic! Thanks, giant teddy bear. Now our water's crystal clear. Unfortunately, that does not solve their issue with it being too cold. And we actually cannot do anything about that right now. I don't believe... I don't believe you're shooting eggs. 
I don't think you could shoot fire eggs into it and it help it any at all. I mean, that's what I thought it was back in the day. I'd be like, oh, it's too cold? Well, let's just shoot fire eggs into it. But that doesn't do anything. But that does let us get these little plumes down here. Which we could have got these before, but uh, it was too dark to see anything. Um, Freaking directional buttons. There, come on. Get used, there we go. Takes, uh, I'm really gonna have to get used to these controls. There's so little underwater stuff and the buttons are reversed from the original Banjo-Kazooie, so you get used to the Banjo-Kazooie controls and they're just like, oh yeah, by the way, we're gonna change the controls for the water. I guess it, it makes a little more sense considering this ha game has a little bit more underwater content. All right, now we've completed that, let's head over here to Wave Racer Ride. So we have musical notes, honeycombs, and um, did not mean to do that. What if we jump up here? Oh, can't reach that. What do you have to say, sign? Legend has it that there's a goldfish hold the secret to fast swimming. Well, we already figured out how to fast swim, so we win. Might be able to... Jesus hop. Yeah. We did it. And now we can jump over here. Get our first Jinjo of this stage. Oh, no, there's only one more red Jinjo left. Ahoy there! It be your old shipmate, Cap'n Blubber. How you going, me hearties? A bit of a hard day, really. Aye, these adventurers are all the same. So many places to go and things to find. Beats standing around, though. How's business, Blubber Guts? Not good, land lovers. All me wave runners are shipwrecked. And the last one was eaten by a fish yesterday. Uh, or perhaps we can lend you a doubloon or two? Nah, shipmates. But I will sell you my last possession for just one doubloon. How about it? You want me to sell my last possession for one doubloon? Arr, here's a good one, Banjo. Here, have a look inside this here crate. Thanks, shipmates. I'll be off to Jolly's. For their quiz night, there be a hundred to blo a thousand to blooms up for grabs, and if I win, I'll be having a fine new flying machine. All right, so we break it, and we get his wave runner. Quite literal, in being a wave runner, because we can run on water with it, and that's how we get over here, and that's how we grab that. And we've completed the White Jinjo family! And these are also the last of blooms in the level. So, now that we have gotten enough to buy the page, that's all we need for the, the blooms. Just for that, you can have a new gamer picture. So yeah, that's a gamer picture, ex or obviously an Xbox exclusive. You didn't actually get anything for collecting all the doubloons in the original game, except for, you know, being able to buy everything and have a few extra. Though it's odd, they put the doubloons in pairs, and, uh, so they give you two extra. Okay, that makes more sense. Never mind. Yeah, I want the page. Give me the page. Yes, I want the page. All right, let's see if it still pops up as 12. Yep, still pops up as 12. Even though it was seven. All right, so that's all we have to buy from him. So uh, screw you, don't want to talk to you anymore. And now it's pretty much time to head into the water and see what we can find there. Into the water we go, into the water we go. 
So, down here, there is a giant hole. As is usual with most underwater things, it's just straight hole down and then you have something. Oh, we have a door with Kazooie's face on it. Interesting that they would have a face on a spaceship, which is what it looks like. Oh, uh, for these things, this is actually kind of an annoying little thing here. You got to freeze them and then grab what's in them and then you got to be quick about it because they will start back up again. Oh. Uh, that's just eggs. Don't have to worry about that. And I, you have to shoot them in the eye or else they don't freeze. So, got to get the right angle for the shot. And... No, no. Damn it. Come on. And go. Yay, we did it. There are other things that use that tactic, as we'll see right up ahead. This may look familiar. Hey, are you that thing from Donkey Kong Country? Because you look like it. So you freeze him. You can, he can still knock you back, but he can't hurt you. So feel free to just swim on by. And like I said, the oxygen is, or the water is oxygenated, so we don't have to worry about that. And ooh, we have found... We have found the lost city of Atlantis. We have found the lost city of Atlantis. Nope. Nope, come on. Get it. There we go. And we found the treble clef. So, this place has a lot of, like, curves, odds, and ends like this. And so there, it hides a couple of things in here. Um, one bean is a honeycomb piece, and I'm going to grab that right off the bat because I always miss this thing. It's somewhere around here. And it's just like in a hole, and you have to look at it from a certain angle to see it. There it is. Okay. I always miss this thing, and I'm going to make sure I get it first. Bam. Alright, so another a little puzzle in this area is in this door. Now, I don't know how to read these signs, so I'm going to read them as Pi, Squiggle, Omega, Squiggle, Two Triangles. Okay. Pi, Omega, Pi, Squiggle, Omega, Squiggle, Two Triangles. Yeah, so what you got to do here is each of these signs um, have a symbol on them. So that's omega. Those are triangles. Squiggle. Pi. There's pi. Squiggle. Omega. Squiggle. Two triangles. And that's the puzzle for that. You could get it by uh, guess guessing the puzzle, but you can just look on the door. That was how it was meant to be fit, done. So that's just the easier way to do it. And in here we have... A somewhat annoying minigame. It's not too bad. But, uh, it could be annoying. So, if we head up to the top of this area, we have Mr. English Piggy Man. What's up? Oh, hello there. Oh, hi, I'm Chris. Chris? Not a very pig like, if you ask me. Actually, it's Chris P. Bacon. Oh, I see. What are you doing here, Mr. Bacon? I'm on vacation trying to photograph those lovely paintings on the wall down there. Sounds fascinating. Oh, it is, but uh, these awful fish keep attacking me. Why not get a spear gun? 
this camera was too expensive. I had no doubloons left. Perhaps you could protect me while I'm down there instead? Yes. Right then, if I can just follow me down to the bottom. Alright, so we follow him down to the bottom. Ready our eggs. If I could... Oh my god. There we go. If I could get... It right. Hope you're ready. Here they come. I'm not even... I'm not ready. So... You shoot the fish as they come. Yeah, and you can't let one get near him. So, uh, I screwed that up. That nipper bit really hurt. Please try harder next time. Yeah, I do want to try again. Alright, now that I'm at the bottom, it'll be a little bit simpler. So, it's really annoying because if, any, if just one fish gets to him, you lose. They go kind of slow, but still. So you just kind of got to... I have feeling one's behind me. Nope. Don't be cautious with the eggs, and I know I'm being quiet here, but I am concentrating. Making sure there's no fish closer than that guy. Five seconds. If there's one behind him, I'm going to... Okay, we did it. Sweet. I think that'll do it. I'm off back to the surface. So yeah, not a terrible mini game, of course, but... One that it gave me a lot of problems when I was little. I will tell you that much. I got all the shots I needed. Perhaps this thing I found earlier may interest you. I think it would, actually. Well, I'm off to get these pictures printed. Bye. Bye, Mr. Crispy, pa Crispy Bacon. Alright, so we have received the Jiggy from Mr. Bacon, and now we can continue on here in Atlantis. See what else there is to find down here. So there's a door over there with Kazooie's face on it. Still can't get through those. There's another door over here. And there's a bigger door over here. So let's go through the bigger door. Let's see what is in here. Oh, we have electric eels. We're in the Seaweed Sanctum. And it's a place where there is a lot of seaweed. If you could not have guessed. Ah, and there's monsters. Run away from the monsters. Ooh, shock spring. Shock spring. Alright, so more monsters. There's another platform over there. Oh, that one's just regular, apparently. Bounce away. Oh, there's no platform on that side. But over here there is. Head to the other side again. I'm pretty sure this one will. Nope, not be a monster. Okay. I was going to say, I thought I remember something in here. There, there might actually be a page as well. Oh, might be a page in here as well. And we have gotten one out of four orange gingos. That was a, it was kind of a weird color. It was like dark red. But we can continue on deeper into the seaweed sanctum. The sea bottom. Hmm. 
Whoa, there's a lot of fishies. Oh, and there's a big fish. So, what are we gonna do with this big fish? We're going to blow up his teeth. Just like Clanker. Except this time it's a real fish. He's a real boy now. Now I can't freaking see. Where are you, big fish? There you are. Lost track of you a little bit there. What's wrong? What's wrong? You don't like dental plan? It's all you can... All you can break dental plan. Alright, so I activated a quick warp, which can work while you're underwater, so... And now that we blew out all of his teeth, he looks very strange. For one, if I can get the camera that way. Oh man, he's very camera shy, isn't he? Look at the teeth still laying on the floor. Poor teeth. Alright, so let's get the camera there. And he's just like, oh my god, I have no teeth. And we are inside the big fish. So, both ways. We need to go both ways eventually. So, let's just go this way first. And we've got another Jinjo. Two out of five for the green family. And now we'll head over to the other side. Bingo. We have found Jolly, Roger, Jolly Roger's partner. Ah, oh, you must be the rescue party. Ah, uh, only if the price is right. I'm Mary Maggie, partner of Jolly Roger. I was out on one of the blubber's wave racers when this fish knockered me off and swallowed me. Knocked me off. The fish's mouth is, the, the fish's mouth is open now, so you don't have to stay in here. Ah, oh, that's lovely. They'll soon be happy hour at the end, and Jolly will be needing some relief. Uh, any chance of a jiggy? Oh, see Jolly about that. I'm sure he'll give you one. And that's just scary right there. So, uh, that's about it for this episode, guys. In the next part, we're going to continue exploring the watery depths of Jolly Roger's Lagoon. And, um, till then, I will see you next time. Die. You die too.